I guess I come at this a little bit different than um, uh, a lot of the people here. I think as I look around the room, probably you and I are the only ones with degrees in forest management. Uh, maybe there's a handful of others in here, and probably not many of us, uh, including I'm sure Senator Franklin have, or Senator Franken have operated a Pulaski on a fire line before. But uh, when you do that, you get a different perspective, I think, than uh, than uh, kind of the uh, theoretical uh, approach to uh, fire management and what have you. Um, and, and by the way, as far as climate change, uh, we had a change in Idaho this year. We've got record snowpack. Uh, we're, uh, we're probably not going to have much of a fire season, thank goodness. I've got, I've got uh, watersheds that have a thousand times, uh, that, that have a thousand percent, excuse me, a thousand percent of average. I mean, it's just stunning the amount of, uh, of snow that we got this year. So. Uh, our concern is probably going to be fire uh, rather than, or flood rather than fire. Um, I, I appreciate the the fine line you guys walk. I, it, it just amazes me when I hear people talk about climate change. With all due respect, uh, Senator Franken, generally the people who talk about climate change and um, and uh, wring their hands about the fires are the exact same people who, when you in the Forest Service try to remove fuel from a particular watershed are the first ones to file suit to stop from uh, removing that fuel. And as we all know, over the years, when I'm talking years, I'm talking centuries, the, uh, the original uh, policy of the United States government to do fire control after the big burn in 09 and 010 mm -hmm. is what we're paying the price for now because the objective was to, was to fight fires all fires and suppress them at uh, all times and all places. So that went along for a lot of years. We did a good job of suppressing fires. We never had a big burn again. Uh, and then over the years, uh, the federal government has also had a policy, not through the government, but through the courts, to stop uh, taking the fiber out of the forest. And the result of that is what we got today, which are catastrophic fires. And as you know, in Idaho, we've really suffered from that over the last uh, over the last uh, decade. So uh, I appreciate the fine line that you walk uh, and the difficulties that you have. We had, as I think you know, uh, when I started in the state legislature in 1975, we had 42 operating mills in southern Idaho. Today we have two. One of them was built with stimulus money, so it's a federal government financed mill and uh, not, uh, not there because of the, uh, uh, the free market uh, uh, forces that uh, should be operating. So since we're down to one, uh, down to these two mills, it's very difficult to remove fiber uh, from the forest. So again, I appreciate what you do. I appreciate the fine line you have to walk, and I hope you'll continue to educate people about how important it is uh, to remove fuel. Uh, removing fuel is, uh, is so important uh, when it comes to uh, uh, fire control, particularly in the forests that are thriving and the ones that do produce the uh, board feet that... Uh, that we could use. And um, it's a difficult task. I know most people don't have the understanding, uh, the technical understanding of how, um, how acres vary uh, from acre to acre of the difference in the amount of fuel that's on the ground. It's a great picture that, uh, that you provided here. I think you and I have probably seen, mm -hmm. ha have seen uh, examples of this uh, all over. Uh, as you know, when you're out on a fire, you get the old maps out and you hope it hits one that is burned within the last five, ten years, because that, of course, changes the uh, dynamics of the fire entirely. The, un the unfortunate thing about, uh, about just plain fuel treatment is how economically inefficient that it is. Mm -hmm. Again, if it was turned over to the, uh, uh, to the private sector to be able to remove it, to be able to use it, to saw it, to use it for biofuels or whatever, it would certainly uh, uh, help us at the federal level as far as the dollars and cents we spend doing this. So.